Um, I've been out of the game now for some nine years after leaving um, leaving Korean. Banger came in and, and uh, asked me would I be interested in uh, taking the job there. Um, to be honest with you, the, 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 the final which I lost in 208 didn't um, didn't go down too well with me. It took me a long, long time to recover and uh, the road was becoming longer, the travelling was becoming longer. So I thought I'll go have, I'll have a word with Banger and I took that job on again. It didn't work out, you know. They weren't uh, as a board. They weren't very good at doing their job. They made a lot of promises, which they they, they couldn't sustain. And uh, I realised that after a while, I was wanting to bring in one or two players, and I was told I couldn't do so because they weren't going to apply for uh, the Premiership in the coming season. We were doing well at the time, sitting up around fifth, sixth place, and uh, we had to we had to. Um, I, I I said to him, no, I, I can't continue here. If we're not going to be in the Premiership, I don't want to be around. I don't want to bring players to the club. So I moved on to Glenavon and um, started off very, very well at Glenavon. It uh, didn't work out too long and too well in the long run. Things didn't go for me. Uh, kept them out of uh, the relegation zone. And in my first season, they were, they, were, they were actually sure they were going to get relegated. But we won eight or nine games on the bounce and uh, and stayed um, and stayed up. But the following seasons weren't great. I didn't feel that I got the right change room. I, lo- I love a, a bunch of good, honest lads that I can have around me. But I, I didn't get that at Glenavon. Uh, it wasn't the same. There were too many different little groups and players. And they weren't, uh, they weren't as supportive as I thought they should have been. But all in all, uh, the Korean the Korean experience stands out. Uh, the eight and a half good years there, give it me all, and uh, look forward to getting back up again, and seeing a few old faces. Um, after the pandemic, please God, things will work out, and we'll all still be here on the other side. Uh, regarding uh, what I'm doing at the moment, I'm, I'm not. I haven't taken in any games lately. Uh, miss it very much. I'm sick watching Premiership players because. I can't get the I can't get the smell. I can't get the 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 the, the, the noises and stuff like that. And uh, I miss the game locally. I uh, normally go down to Solitude, taking the uh, Clifton Mill games when I uh, when I can. But as I say, I always look for the Korean result. Delighted with their success. Owen Kearney has done a great job, and he's brought a great man in with him now, and and Davy Platt as uh, a head of the academy. And I'm sure there'll be a good um, group of young players coming out of Davy's. Uh, coaching and his general everything about him he's a top class man I had great pleasure working with uh, with Davey but uh, time goes on as I say and maybe see a few people at uh, Lauren next week I'm going to take on that game as a, as a co-commentator it's uh, Korean in town so I look forward to that one and uh, hopefully I can see a few old faces and as I say thanks very much Michael and the Korean fans in general for all their support over the years I've been uh, I've been very humbled by some of the things that went on with me at Korean and they made me feel so, so welcome. And I appreciate that very much. And I'd like to just wish everyone a happy and a successful new year. Thanks very much indeed, Michael. Bye.